So I'm sitting on the roof on our family villa on this beautiful island. And you came across this video titled how to become a consultant because you've been on these internet streets, you've been on YouTube University, you're like, how do I make money as a consultant? How do I quit my job? How do I leave the classroom? What do I do to generate money online? How do I become an online business consultant or an education consultant? And ma'am, sir, welcome. This is the right place to be. My name is Tiffany Garside. I'm an international marketing strategist, keynote speaker, and consultant for eight years now, going on nine years, and today, I'm going to show you behind the scenes of one of our group coaching programs called Black Educators Amplified. You are going to want to like this, share this, save it, and tune in until the end so you can actually see inside the program because we're on cohort three, but we're about to go into cohort four. And so if you stay subscribed and watch these videos, you are going to be alerted when we do release the dates for cohort number four. Now, I have this graph here for Black Educators Amplified, okay? And so we looked over our client data inside of the program and we've come to a few conclusions, you know. Let me tell you about our four-step process inside the program first. Number one, we perform market research and we teach our clients how to do market research in 2024, not the outdated 1970s approach. Number two, we focus on website copy and messaging from the work that we did previously in the market research phase of the program because that is the foundation of everything we do in corporate communications this is called a branding guide i've worked with tech companies education companies finance firms e-commerce businesses our clients have actually accumulated 7.4 million dollars to date inside of our creative marketing agency and so i'm using those same fundamentals and elements to teach you how to sell out your consulting offers number three we go through video marketing on this channel my husband and i share this channel and we are founders of an international business called journey with us but a huge portion of the success of that business has been due to video marketing like you're listening to right now and then step four is the final step which is the launch phase where you go ahead you go through and you take every piece of advice that we give you and you launch your business now the great news about all of this is one of our current clients that is a business owner and they have multiple people in the business right now about four people in the business they joined the program to see how they could amplify their marketing message and just halfway through the program during weeks four and five they attracted their ideal clients and priced their offers at fifteen hundred dollars to attract those clients and now they're getting client inquiries we're not even at launch week yet and they're already getting client inquiries for their offers because they would go through each step of the program and do exactly what we said okay so you're about to see this amazing demo inside of Black Educators Amplified. Enjoy the program. And before you actually view the demo, I do want you to think about this. This is a mindset shift that you have to have to be successful as an education consultant. Number one, you have to understand that outdated marketing and business strategies will not work in 2024. I say this all the time on my Instagram at Tiffy G Writes. Even the things that we did in 2018 don't work in 2024. And so if you're trying to pull things from the 1970s, the 1990s into 2024, you're going to be frustrated. Imagine yourself right now as an education consultant or any type of expert. You're going out door to door. You're knocking on doors with your clipboard, your piece of paper, and you're doing these market research surveys, right? You're wasting so much time. Statistically, you're not being effective because just by basic statistic principles, we know that the more numbers that you can get, the more viability that you can get, you're going to come to a better conclusion for your business development, right? And so instead, what we teach during phase one of the program, the market research phase, where we do those 20 questions to dig for gold for our clients is to actually go through Facebook groups based on your industry. If you are a homeschooler, if you are somebody that is in math education, you want to do math curriculums, or if you're someone who's a food expert, you're a chef, but you want to start to sell your offers and your courses online. If you are someone that wants to help retirees move abroad, if you are a lawyer who wants to start offering your services to small business owners in a consulting fashion, it is going to help you so much. Instead of taking that 1970s route, 
go inside of five Facebook groups like we teach in the program and do something that we call in corporate marketing, social listening. This is your powerful piece that you need in your arsenal of marketing. Social listening tells you exactly what the market needs when they need it. So instead of you coming in with one idea as a lawyer, let's say you're a lawyer and you're like, okay, I want to offer copyright to my clients, to small businesses, but then you perform your social listening and you're going through these Facebook groups with other black women entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs in the finance or freelancers. And then as you're going through those Facebook groups, you see people actively saying, hey, I need help with contracts. Then with that piece of data, you're gonna say, wait a minute, if there's not demand for copyright, maybe I should go into contracts instead of copyright because there's a difference between what you want to offer as a consultant and as a business and what the demand is for the market. Think your economics class in high school and college. You have to meet the demand in the market and we teach you exactly how to do that inside of Black Educators Amplified during step one of the program. So without further ado, welcome aboard. Welcome to your demo, enjoy. Make sure you like, share and subscribe and leave a comment down below. If you want to be alerted when we open the doors for cohort number four, it's probably going to be sometime in October or November. We will talk to you soon, enjoy. So as I was saying earlier, you guys are going to use these 20 questions as the basis for everything you do in your business. In corporate marketing, we call this a branding guide. So like even when marketing agencies deal with different clients, they always have the branding guide out. So even as you're brainstorming and looking at your own data and analytics later on down the line, this is going to be the document you pull out eventually if you look for funding, eventually if you add in your different business proposals that you're sending over to different institutions, you want to use this branding guide. So take the time to answer these questions completely and thoroughly. After this session, it will enable you to walk away with your elevator pitch, which some of you guys know already, but shows you what to say when speaking to potential clients. You're going to use this in all of your social media profiles and practice saying it in the mirror so that you're confident. Please use this to help you define your mission, vision, and unique selling proposition, which we will cover a little bit later. This is going to guide all of your content creation, marketing, customer engagement. As you align your business with these stories and experiences, you are going to create a powerful narrative that resonates with your audience. So I'm going to ask everyone each question. We're going to talk it out so you guys can decide who is going to go first. But I want to know, first, I want you guys, as I'm asking you this first question, please introduce yourself, what your business is and what your niche is. Then you can get into the first question of what frustrates you about your industry. Yes, that's excellent. Absolutely. Awesome. And then one more thing to uh, think about with this audience I also want you guys to pay attention to the feedback you get in the comments, the feedback you get from customers, um, whether they're like, oh, I'm scared of X, Y, Z when moving to Africa, then also pay attention to the demographics and their profession. So are there people who successfully move to Africa or successfully work with you and really enjoy the process? Are they in IT? Are they teachers? Are they already entrepreneurs? Are they in real estate? See if you can find some similarities there since you guys do already have an existing business and audience that you can draw those data points from, especially as we're going through the question framework, because those data points from your audience directly are like gold for your marketing message. So you can literally allow your copy and content to speak to, to them as if you're reading their mind, all by listening very intently to them. So that's awesome. What do you guys say are your three favorite aspects of your industry? Um, the three favorite aspects of my industry, I think one is that um, the timing of it for me is so wonderful because part of what I would like to do is um, as a learner and educator is really kind of dive into the history of massage um, as far as African culture and tradition um, where laying of hands played a role in our lives, in our families. Um, so I guess uh, that's one of the things I'm looking forward to. Um, another favorite aspect of mine is that um, it's very integrative. 
and I don't have to stay in just one box, even with one idea or, as you say, you know, one specific niche, I still can take that and it can translate across the board in so many different areas in chiropractic care, in prenatal care, in, um, you know, in and outside of the spot. It's very versatile. Um, and finally, my final favorite aspect is that now I think this is more fresh is that I, I think that I have. I have some, um, I can just really be creative in the educational part of it. It doesn't have to be traditional massage education as I know it um, in the United States. I can really um, be creative as I explore how to integrate it across the board. I love that. That's awesome. Especially that historical education piece. There's such a gap in the market for that. So as you begin to clearly articulate that and attract the right clients that are interested, especially amongst just even like different African people, maybe they're entrepreneurs or super busy and they really care about getting back to their health and well-being. So that that's going to be really interesting to see how that unfolds. Then the